the moment you came into this world, you immediately had something to strive for and something to run away from. And that is pain and pleasure. When you're a kid, you easily get bored. So you constantly find ways to have fun. And you do whatever it takes not to consume your vegetables. So as humans, we have two basic drivers. The avoidance of pain and the seeking of pleasure. It's also been talked about in the self-improvement space that you need to deprive yourself from pleasure. You need to not play video games, not watch anything, and not use social media. And I've been promoting the same thing myself. But lately, I've discovered that the people that preach these concepts, they drink. So, I won't be unfair and hypocritical to you. But before we move on, I just want you to know that when you chase pain, your baseline for pleasure goes up. And when you chase pleasure, it comes with pain. It might be form of a physical pain or addiction. So this is how you analyze what activity will give you the most fun depending on what you like. And I made this framework the moment I knew that you can't 100% deprive yourself from pleasure. So Hamza isn't perfect. He drinks. So if I can completely deprive myself from pleasure, then why not examine the most fun thing that I can do? There are two factors in considering what the most fun activity is. First is dopamine. And second is pain. I'll explain how we will examine it later on. While examining this, we will not put a focus on dopamine. Let me explain. You see, dopamine is our feel-good hormone. We get it as a reward for doing something. But the thing is, where you get it isn't specific. You can get dopamine in drinking alcohol and smoking, while you can also get it while starting a business. So purely basing on dopamine isn't good because the factors are so broad. Depending on what activity, you might get addicted or you might be super successful. Instead, what we will replace this with is fun because there are ranges in how much dopamine will be released in a certain activity. Even though the dopamine release is high, it doesn't mean it's fun for you. I know you might be a little confused, but before, when I was playing a lot of video games, I always wanted to play the video game, but when I started playing it, it wasn't fun. Even though science says that video games releases a lot of dopamine, but it isn't really fun for me. Instead, we will use abstract things such as what makes you feel pleasant. Now, we're gonna talk about the second factor, which is pain. Pain is actually the greater factor here. And this is the thing that we need to focus on. Because there are activities like extreme sports where most of the people doing it consider it as fun, but you might get injured. So this is the graph that I made to examine what is the most fun activity. Here we have pain, here we have pleasure. The reason why video games got into this category because it is one of the most popular things that teenagers do and it is widely considered as fun. And it has a bad taste in the self-improvement niche. So, is it actually fun when we examine it though? So in video games, while playing it, it feels fun. So, the pleasure, let's give it a check. Let's move to pain. While you're playing it, you get frustrated, they trash talk you, network connections might tilt you, when you lose, it's not fun. So, pain is present with a check on it. So in pursuit of a fun activity, video games cancels itself out because while you experience fun when winning, you hate it when you're losing. Now, let's say watching video game tournaments. You get to look at some highlights and it's fun. There could be highlight plays, there could be commentators. Normally, normally. The next label play. The next label so let's put a check on fun. How about in the pain side? You really have not much pain when watching a video game tournament because if either team loses, it doesn't affect you unless you're really rooting for a team and no one trash talks you and virtually there's not much stress. So pain, there's no pain. So I'm gonna put an X in the pain. Next, how about reading non-fiction books if you find this fun then let's put a check on fun in the pain side you get zero pain you never lose if you like reading non-fiction books and instead of pain you will gain new knowledge knowledge we all need to keep this in mind because most of us just do things for pleasure and don't consider the pain that's why most people became overweight because eating certain food is pleasurable but they don't consider that it might have a side effect in their health now, if you want to start improving yourself, you can start by subscribing.